as a lay woman um, from 1979 to 1989 and I actually entered the sisters um, at, that, at the end of that time um, and then I know I taught during that time and I was a coordinator then after I entered um, I taught at other schools and then I was asked to come back to MSJ um, as a sister of St Joseph um, because it was going on to years 11 and 12 and I'd had experience um, teaching those years, those senior years, um, yeah. teaching sons and God, um, I'm a maths teacher by trade <laughs> um, and a studies of religion. So uh, that was in the early... 2000s and um, I taught there for eight or so years. Look, I have so many powerful, wonderful memories um, of teaching and being a coordinator at uh, MSJ because I loved it so much. You know, so many good memories have come back uh, to me when, when I've been reflecting on my, my times there. Um, I, loved, I, I loved being part of Peru Day, um, athletics carnivals, swimming carnivals, um, you know, just teaching generally. But I think something that really comes back to me um, is the leadership and the person of Anne Derwin. Mm -hmm. um, she was there when I first came um, in 79, 80. She was the RE coordinator and then she was asked to be principal. So I was on her staff um, during those eight or nine years when she was in leadership. So I think just she had a great influence on me, and in fact, she had a great influence on me entering uh, alongside um, other sisters who were on the staff, who were wonderful to work with. But Anne uh, has had a, a lasting impression mm -hmm. because of her leadership, the person she was, um, the way she she related to people, 
we were all in this together in, at MSJ. It wasn't us and them. It wasn't just students you know, who were different to the staff. We were there like a family. And she really taught me how to, to teach um, in a different way. Um, she taught me how to relate to, to students and families and staff. Uh, so I've, I've got a lot, a lot to be grateful for. So uh, yes, um, mm -hmm. so yeah, I think that's that's one of the most powerful images oh, I have uh, at all my time at uh, MSJ. Mm -hmm. Sounds um, like it was a real community. Oh, extraordinary! Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm I'm on a staff now at a school, and some of the teachers at this school I'm at at the present time, are women I taught. Um, and they talk so lovingly, and we all do, about our time at MSJ. Them as students and, and me as a staff member. And we've laughed a lot, I'll tell you. <laughs> Can I tell you a little story? Yeah. I was just at the end of last year, we were talking about the olden days. Mm. Now these women are in their 30s and 40s now. Um, and I don't know if anybody remembers this, but Year 10s used to have driving lessons on a Friday afternoon around the school. A driving <laughs> instructor used to come in on a Friday in the, his car mm. and give kids a driving lesson around the playground wow. and up and down the no, the passageways. Yeah. So we laughed about that. Yeah. <laughs> no, OHS rules back then. So uh, yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, uh, yeah that sense of um, being able to look back mm -hmm. at memories for students, uh, which were really good, mm -hmm. says something about uh, the community spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. that be significant for you or why was it so significant for you do you reckon? Like either Anne's influence on yeah. him or yeah. the community aspect of yeah. it? Or? I suppose that sense of belonging. Mm. That's one of our deepest desires of, as humans. Mm. Um, you know, the desire to be loved and to be able to love mm. and the desire to have a sense of belonging. It's very, very strong mm -hmm. in humans and, and animals, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, so when, and MSJ was certainly an example of where people felt that they belonged. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of my, you know, things that I hope that continues, mm -hmm. where people feel at home. that sense that you know, students and staff um, have a sense of belonging, mm -hmm. uh, a sense of community um, and but also for the spirit um, of Nira McKillop and Julian Timmons and Woods uh, to be always part, you know, that the core of the spirit of, of MSJ. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's crucial, absolutely crucial. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, for, for there to be a sense of justice um, from people who belong to MSJ. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's sort of Just mentioned um, that, uh, would you say, that everybody was treated equally? Oh, for sure, you know, definitely. That, and that was one of the things that Anne doing, yeah. really stressed, you know, we were all in this together and if, if we're all, you know, if anybody's you know, in a family, mm -hmm. uh, of course, they have a sense of belonging and, and there's an inequality mm -hmm. and everybody should be treated the same, yeah. same as, you know, yeah. I mean, people have, you know, students have got their different roles, of course, staff have got their responsibilities in different roles. Mm -hmm. um, 
So that's, that's that everybody is equal mm -hmm. you know, in their own right. Mm -hmm. you know. And I hope, you know, I think MSJ has always been a place of great hospitality. Mm -hmm. And that's that's part of the, the spirit of Mary, Mary McKillop and Julian. Mm -hmm. uh, hospitality is very important. Now, I can often remember, you know, I, I remember often that when people came in mm -hmm. um, from outside, they have often said, I felt as if I was welcomed. Mm -hmm. And they felt part of the place. Mm -hmm. So I think that's very important. Yeah. I guess that hospitality links back to belonging, yeah. to equality, yeah. to yeah. that, that yeah. spirit. Yeah. Mary yeah. 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 That's why I used to love being out the front in, in the mornings yeah. and just greeting people, students, parents, mm -hmm. teachers. Yeah. It's, that, you know, it's just a nice way of starting off the day. Absolutely. Yeah. It's such a, a little thing. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. advice to, to say that be yourself we can't be anybody else except ourselves um, and I think when we can honestly be ourselves who we're all unique then we can be happy with ourselves now when we try and be like somebody else um, we're not being true to ourselves so be yourself and, and love that self. Um, I think kindness is, is a, a, a big thing, mm -hmm. being kind to yourself. But when we're kind to other people, we no longer are thinking about ourselves, we're thinking about the other. Mm -hmm. And I think that brings happiness mm -hmm. to us. And the third thing and I've said this to students for many, many years. And I think it's one of the most important things to remember. Mm -hmm. You are never alone. Mm -hmm. God is always there with you, with us. Mm -hmm. So even during those times of great sadness or great joy, um, <laughs> In all parts, in all times of our lives, mm -hmm. you are never alone. Mm -hmm. That God is there. Mm -hmm. And it's a God of love. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favourite quotes in the whole of the Gospels, the Bible. That, you know, it's from John's Gospel. God is love. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. And I just... Um, you know, when I was reflecting on that, just think for yourselves. I am talking to students and everybody. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> sure, and parents may watch it too. Good. But yeah. okay. Good. Um, just think for a moment. I've, I've had students do this. Even to sit in you know, your room or somewhere where you absolutely love being, you know, in a park or mm. on the beach. And just, and, you know, just think about the people who have loved you in your life and who love you now. Could be grandparents, parents, family, siblings, friends, your teachers. Mm -hmm. And just, just recall what that feeling is when you are loved. Mm -hmm. It's very powerful. And just sit with it and just hold it. And that love is God. God is love. So I think it um, just for you to remember that. Thank you. Thank you.
MSJ girls can do anything. <laughs> yeah.